<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can easily add more applications to the uh, JTAG and RGH app pack that I made a few weeks ago and released to you all. So just kind of giving you all a basic rundown on here, uh, I had made this ISO specifically for JTAG and RGH and hard modded Xbox 360 consoles. The idea of it was I took some basic homebrew applications that I normally install on freshly modified systems, cobble them together in an ISO, and I show the installation so that way you can literally just burn it to a disc, pop it in your system, spend about five minutes configuring everything, getting it copied over, and you're ready to go at that point. Now I was thinking with that too, what if you, the viewer, want to download this pack but there's a bunch of other applications that you want? Well I'm going to show you how you can add or remove applications and do whatever you want to because there's no secret sauce to this ISO, okay? It's very modular, it's just an ISO that's been cobbled together, the credit should go to the actual developers of these applications. But there's going to be a few things you need to do for that. So let's say I want to add this application, which is Simple 360 NAND Flasher version 1.2. I know it's a little bit older, but bear with me. This is just for an example of what we're doing right here. You're going to need three things. These are three things I use. You're going to need your XEX Menu 1.1 with Apps ISO. You technically don't need it. You can rebuild it yourself with XEX Menu like 1.2 or something, even though there's really not a difference between them aside from themes. That's a whole other thing though. You can download the ISO, which is down below in the description to make this all easier. You can download whatever homebrew you want to, and you're also going to want to download Image Burn if you're going to be like me and you're going to build your ISO that way to have on your computer. So first off, now that I have these right here, I have a new application I want and I have the ISO. I'm going to just right click both of these and extract them to separate folders. Now what we're going to do right here is we're going to open up both of these folders. Now right here I have my homebrew which is simple 360 NAND flasher. If you go in there all is is an XCX file and right here I have my actual contents of the ISO. Now I explained this already before. Apps, this is where I put all my XEX files. Uh, content, that's where I put the God version or Games on Demand version of XEX Menu 1.1. Freestyle Dash, the reason why I stuck it out here is because the way of the file structure of CDs and I believe DVDs, you can only have up to eight folders. And if I put Freestyle inside the Apps folder, it just didn't work. So that's why I kept it out here. You can do whatever you want to with it though. Media, that's all part of XEX Menu. And then all this disc is at its core is a XEX version of XEX menu slapped on here. That's really all it is. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to go over to apps and assuming that we have a file that we want to copy over, we have simple 360 NAND flasher. You literally just copy this, paste it over. That's it. Now, let's say you want to modify a few things here. I don't want Aurora, for example, so I'm going to delete that. I don't want 360, well, Flash 360, so let's delete that. And let's say I also don't want NXE to God. So there we go. I have my own customized ISO at this point. Now, I'm not going to show this portion, but if you have any other homebrew that is games on demand, really all you have to do is put it inside of content, put it inside the zeros folder, and then you just copy and paste whatever it is right there. So as you can see, if I go in here, there's the folder, and then that is my actual XEX menu. So if you want to do with content, it's really the same thing, except it's not labeled as nicely. But now that we have this the way we want it, how are we going to build an ISO? How are we going to burn it to a disk? Well, I'm more the person I want to build an ISO, so if I have to burn this again, I can pretty easily. And this is where Image Burn comes into play. For Image Burn, all you really need to do is create image file from files or folders. If you want to write it directly to a disk, you can just say write files and folders to disk. In this case, I'm going to be making in an ISO, so that's the example I'm using. But I'm going to click this, and then when it's going to ask for a folder, all you need to do is click this icon here, navigate inside of the XEX Menu 1.1 folder that you've extracted, and when you're inside it like this, don't click on anything, but just say select folder. Now it's going to say this, you've only selected one folder. Would you like me to just add the contents of XEX Menu 1.1 with apps? You could just say yes right here. So there we go. Everything's been added at that point. So now at this point, as you can see, we have all this right here. You can go to labels. You can label it whatever you want to. I'm not going to give it a label in this case. And then all you need to do is create your image. So go ahead, browse for where you want to save the image to. After you've selected where you want to save it, click that button. It's going to give you this prompt again. Just say yes right here. And we'll go ahead, give that the label. Sure. Hit OK. And that's it. It's all done. So at this point, I'm now going to exit out. And look at that. We have two files right here. We have our ISO. We have our MDS file. That's kind of like a cue sheet. You don't really need it, but I mean, you can delete it if you want to. It's really no big deal. And now if we go ahead, right click, extract this, this is just to look at the actual contents that we have. 
it should look like this. As you can see, that is the root of the directory. So the root of the directory is not XEX 1.1 with apps. It's all this stuff right here. And look, we have our own customized build of this that we can work with. So that's all there is to this. It probably took me a lot longer to explain it than it took you to actually add, remove the apps and then build out the ISO. But that's the point of a tutorial. You break things down step by step and hopefully it works out for the end user. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would very much be appreciated. And if you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well too.